This video is not about gaming. Well, it's kind of about gaming, but it's mostly about grinding. Not that grinding. I can't do that. No, 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 no. That's for a different site. I'm talking about grinding, that Sigma male grind set. You see, all my life I've been a head in the cloud dreamer, and yet I'm not a professional soccer player. I'm not a famous YouTuber, yet, go subscribe. And I'm not even a college graduate. Why? Because I can never follow through with things. I'm never able to grind out the work when it isn't fun anymore. But if anyone wants to achieve their goals in life, they have to learn how to embrace the hard work and even enjoy it. And I feel like no one ever teaches us how to do that. So today I'm going to be looking towards the hardest working, most successful group of individuals I know. Gamers. Gamers are notorious for being able to grind out the most tedious tasks and spend ungodly hours doing it. I mean, just look at this guy who spent 125 hours learning to drive blindfolded. Oh my god. Oh my god! Yes! Or this guy who made a beacon out of just oh, netherite. It's just right. Four layers, all of netherite blocks, just so we can power one simple beacon. Which, if you've ever played, you know that's ridiculous. The point is, they can spend absurd amounts of hours on something, whether they like it or not. Right. Why have I done? Why have I done this? I would love to be able to harness that energy, that grind set, in order to do all of my other projects in life. So. Today, I'm going to be doing a little experiment. I'm going to be completing a gaming grind that I've always wanted to complete, but never have. And that is the Call of Duty Camo Grind. Today, you're going to see how I dedicated the last seven months of my life to making my video game character's gun look like this, to now looking like this. I know. I know what you're thinking. Totally worth it, right? So let's get into it. Call of Duty grinds have been around since the dawn of time, aka 2007. But ever since I started playing the game in 2016, I've never completed the mastery camo. In fact, despite getting hyped up and telling myself I was going to do it each and every year, I've never even gotten more than 25% of the way done with it. But this year's going to be different. Here's the plan. There are four stages to this grind. The first is leveling your weapons. There are 51 weapons in the game that you all have to get to maximum level, as well as complete some trivial challenges along the way. Second is the gold challenges, which you typically get by completing kill streaks. Third, platinum, which is usually long shots. Fourth is the polyatomic challenges. Now, these were headshot challenges, and upon completing these challenges for all 51 guns in the game, you will then receive Orion Camo. Now some of you may be thinking, why does the polyatomic camo look way better than the Orion camo? Well, my answer to you is this game sucks. More on that later. This step was honestly the worst of the entire challenge and took up pretty much 50% of the hours that I spent on this game. There were a couple tricks to level up your guns faster, like throwing decoys or watching the professional league in order to get double XP tokens, or just playing on double XP weekends, which always happened while I was out of town, thank you. So you essentially just had to be good at the game and get as many kills as fast as possible in order to level up your weapons, but also not too good. You see, this game sucks, more on that later, and it has this thing called skill based matchmaking, which is the worst thing as any gamer knows. On the surface, it seems like a good thing where the game tries to match you up against players of your same skill level, but in actuality, that makes the game way less fun and should just be the ranked mode. So any game that I did really well and got a lot of XP from, I would then be punished by the game and put in a lobby with Cheeto dusted, grass allergic, G fueled sweats who would just absolutely murder me. Because of this, I was spending upwards of two hours on a single gun, which means to complete all 50 camos, it's like a hundred hours just on the first step. Needless to say, I was very discouraged and considered giving up right then and there, making it just like every other year. But then, just when I needed it, the game presented the perfect solution. A cheat. I mean a glitch. 
that really better? You see, somebody discovered that playing a game out called DMZ, that there was an infinite money glitch that you could then use to go to a purchase station, and if you had the gun equipped while you were purchasing infinite items, you would get infinite XP. However, this game sucks. More on that later. And although my PC friends could just hold down the spacebar to purchase and get their infinite XP, I had to press the A button every single time. What the f are you doing? Drugs! But then I thought to myself, is this really the right thing to do? And I realized, life is not about taking the easy way, taking shortcuts to finish things as easy and as quick as possible. Or maybe it is, I don't fucking know. But regardless, I decided to listen to my morals and not use the glitch anymore. Definitely not because it got patched. But my good karma was received by the universe and the next day they released a game mode that would restore my faith in this challenge. You see, Shipment is both the worst map in the game and the best map in the game at the same time. Some games would go like this. All right, all right, all right, Shipment time. Hey, buddy. Oh, kind of weird they would spawn me in front of somebody like that. Twice in a row. Three times in a row. Oh, fuck. Okay, no one behind me this time. Oh, but now it's shotgun to the face. Sick. All right, they're going to be behind me. <laughs> I knew it get wrecked, buddy. What the fuck? But other games, I was getting three or four weapon levels as opposed to one or two on other maps. So I was happy. Until they took it away a week later. But eventually, after way too many hours, I had finished all 51 gun levels and was ready to move on to the next stage. However, there was just one problem. I had hit the wall. After grinding for months with practically nothing to show for it, I was at the point I was all too familiar with. The point where I'd question why I was doing this in the first place and try to give up. However, this was the whole point of this video, this moment right here. So I needed to develop some techniques to try and get through. My first thought was that I was burning myself out. So I decided I was going to space out the time I was playing instead of going for super long sessions trying to bust out all the work. I decided I was going to play one hour in the morning and one hour at night, and that was it. Today is day one of gaming every morning, noon, and night. Actually, just morning and night. It's 8 a.m., which means it's true gamer hours. I got my yogurt, my banana. Let's see how many fake shiny things we can get in an hour. For the next week, I got up each morning and started my day with an hour of gaming, and each night I ended it the same way. Now, by no means is this a morning and night routine I would recommend to anyone, but it was nice to start and end my day with a little productivity. And although I stuck to it pretty well the whole week, it really wasn't working. The whole playing an hour a day thing was fun, but honestly, it made me feel like I wasn't getting anything done. I know that's the way people tell you to do things, is to break it up, manage your time, and you know, that'll, that'll be the right way to do things. But honestly, it's just one way to do things. All my life, I've been a procrastinator who waited till the last night to do the whole paper. And honestly, that's when I do my best work. There's so much motivation to capitalize upon, and when I just can sit down and do it in one massive session, it feels way better and way more efficient for me personally. So today I'm going to try that method out with this. See if I sit down and do nothing but game all day long. See how much progress I can get done. If, and if that makes me feel better about this. I waited for a nice rainy day where I could sit down and grind out the next step all day long. My hopes were high and I actually felt motivated, knowing that at the end of the day, I would be not just a small step, but a solid chunk closer to my goal. Four hours into our gamerthon, time for some lunch. But playing video games all day long was getting harder than I thought it would be. I'm out of steam, I'll debrief in the morning. But I never did debrief in the morning, and in fact, I didn't even play the game again for a whole month. Can you hear that? I swear to God, it's taunting me. I 
I don't want to do this anymore. Not gonna lie. My friends stopped playing the game, so I don't even have anyone to play with anymore. The weather is nice outside now. It's not raining. And so the last thing I want to be doing is sitting here and gaming all day. Well, maybe not the last thing. Neither method I tried felt like it was working. The one hour a day felt like I wasn't getting anything done and the entire day of gaming burned me the hell out. I don't know, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know what the point is anymore, so. Bro, literally shut the f up. Nobody wants to hear you whine about this. I know it's harder than you thought it was gonna be, but at the end of the day, you promised yourself you were gonna do it. <sighs> okay, yeah, all right. I'll do it. You better. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. That's right. I am going to need a new plan, though, because this is not working. So, I need a more distinctive plan on how I'm going to finish this project. One of the reasons why I did this project in the first place was to learn how to get through this moment right here, right now. Um, and one of those things is hard work. You know, how do I get shit done when I don't actually want to do it? There's a few things that I've noticed just while doing this challenge. One of the things is, is that I'd never reward myself for getting things done. It's important to celebrate when you achieve something in order to trick your brain in the future that doing things is good, doing hard work is fun, getting to the end goal is something I wanna do. And so one of the things I need to do better in all of life, but especially in this challenge right now, is to reward myself for getting through each task. So I have a plan that's hopefully gonna help me with that and also should help me visualize how much further I have to go. So as of right now, I have two camos left to unlock before the final Orion camo, and that's platinum and polyatomic camo, which I'm representing with these two circles. However, to unlock each camo, there's 51 guns that I have to complete the challenges for, as indicated by these smaller circles. Each of the 51 guns can be categorized within one of 10 categories. There are eight ARs, four battle rifles, eight SMGs, four shotguns, six LMGs, six marksman rifles, four sniper rifles, two melee weapons, five pistols, and four launchers. Now each time I finished a weapon challenge, I had a box to tick off, which may sound like extra work to some of you, but for me, it felt like a reward that I couldn't help but want to complete. Then, once I had completed an entire weapon category, I would ink in my lines and color a portion of the pie, seeing all of my hard work come together. How fun is that? I love it. Yeah, I think this is a great way to motivate me to get through the final push. I feel a little bit like a like a kid with his coloring book, but big kids can have coloring books too, okay? I don't know, if you don't like checking stuff off a list, then what do you like in life? So I think this is gonna be a pretty great thing. Let's go out and cross some boxes off. This is how I leave off day one. Shotgun's done. One launcher, five pistols. Pistols done, just one more launcher. Although this launcher was an absolute pain in my ass, after two hours of grinding it out, I was done with the platinum challenges and ready to move on to the final part of this whole challenge. Well, there you guys have it. 
I spent the last seven months on this, which is kind of crazy, but it does look pretty cool, I do have to admit. And I learned a ton about myself along the way, which is always a great thing. Uh, for those of you wondering about how the art project finished, there you go. Uh, yeah, this really was the key to finishing this project, giving me, you know, a reason to finish each each section, giving me motivation and helping me celebrate my achievements, which is which is key. I hope you guys learned something from this video or maybe felt inspired to do something that you've always wanted to do but never have. If you didn't, that's okay too. I hope you, you still enjoyed, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.